everybody in YouTube land long time no see uh, been in the process of moving and all that fun stuff taking different jobs etc etc but I won't bore you with all those videos because the majority of my subscribers don't like watching those videos they like watching the technical videos so I made some previous video in the past about moving in my new house and stuff like that but I'm not going to upload it because nobody seems to care they watch my channel for the technical stuff. So, let's get right down to it. All right, this board, I've been working on a, a range of Macintosh SE30 boards. Um, here's the problem with this one. I'll turn the power on and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Now, that's the problem with this one. Uh, you freaking thing this 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 is a rig that's not it's just not working out not working out at all anyway um because this cable's too short anyway so the problem is there's a stripe in every every so many lines okay now the majority of the time the technicians that work on the se30 automatically know that this chip right here, the LS166, otherwise known as UE8, goes bad. And most of the time it does. And that's the first thing I assume. That's this chip right here. So I went ahead and replaced it. The old one's over there. I went ahead and replaced it and it made no difference whatsoever. So I checked the traces from here to the RAM and it didn't make any difference either. So here's another problem that I'm gonna show you how to use. So pay attention to my scope meter here. These two, see, see on the schematic you have, it's an 8-bit serializer that's driven off the pixel clock that runs the, the CRT. Now, four of the video bits are on this RAM and four of the video bits are on here. So what we're going to do is we are going to check our video bits. It's bit zero. Okay, we have a nice clean square wave. Bit one, nice clean square wave. Uh, bit two, nice clean square wave. Bit three, whoa, nothing, nothing at all. So let's check bit four, clean, five, clean, six, clean, seven, clean. All right, now, what could it possibly be? Well, let's go ahead and We'll shut our meter off, we'll shut our power off, and then we'll grab this cheap-ass meter, because this is the only thing I have handy right now. Because um, I don't have the probes for this to do metering. So let's see, we're going to ground this. This is going to be fun to do single-handedly here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to check video bit 3 for shorts. See, here's video bit two, nothing. Video bit three, whoa. Video bit three is shorted to ground. So, first time I've ever seen that, but you never know. And this goes to show you that don't roll out anything. You always have to check. So UE8 is not bad. However, this RAM chip likely is. It's, it's shorted internally. So we're going to find out here in a minute if that video RAM is bad or if there's a short somewhere in the ground plane to that pin over here. Um, let's see, video, this is pin 24, 23, pin 23 on UC7 is video, yeah, video 3, UC7. So... Yep, that's the fourth bit. Now, trying to think if there, let's see, vid three goes to pin five of the UE8. Pin five. There's a little tiny V on pin five here. 
three, four, and five. Yeah, I gotta make sure. I think what I want to do, honestly, I think what I want to do here is I'm gonna take that pin right here, and I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut this pin right here, and then lift it up, and make sure that we don't have any shorts. Because if that's bad, if that's bad, then that could very likely cause our problems. Just one quick thing. This is why we don't use heat guns to remove small SOIC surface mount chips. Use some chip quick or, or do what I do. Take a solder and heat up both sides as fast as you possibly can until you can remove the chip. Here's why. Because look what we have here. I flipped the board over to inspect it before I cut the pin off. And look what we have here. We have a failure of solder blob. <laughs> so as the board was heated, the solder came through the holes. And as you can tell, it's shorted completely over to the ground plane. So yeah, uh, we have to fix that. I guarantee you, once I, I got my soldering iron warming up now. So I got it on and hopefully after heating that up that should fix our problem i hope well, well we're gonna find out yeah that's all it takes be back in a jiffy all right we're gonna try to do this without any kind of uh video editing whatsoever so we're gonna go in here and we're going to try to clear off yeah that's that's working awesome knot we gotta let's clean the tip see if I can get a little bit of flux to pull that solder up and out of the way alright that should clear the short yeah it does alright now let's uh, turn our power off and try it out see if that makes a difference this hinky freaking plug uh, for one thing uh, the the umbilical cable is too short so I have to extend it with this ATX connector and of course it's halfway inserted because this damn capacitor gets in the way but anyway let's figure it out did that fix our problem hey what do you know <laughs> imagine that perfect awesome so, if you're working on an SC30 and you have a weird video problem that you can't figure out, always check the obvious. <laughs> and it took me that long and that convoluted to figure that one out. Hey, it's all fun. That's how we learn, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment if you have one. Until next time.